Hi, I'm Bradley, and welcome to our channel, where we do Ventrac stuff not seen anywhere else on the internet. From real-world application to maintenance and tutorials, this is the place you want to be. Before we get started, I want to ask you to mash that subscribe button, hit the notifications bell, and you'll be the first to see new videos when they come out. Hey everybody, thanks for joining us again today. We do work for a local youth ministry and we're excited every chance we get to go over there and help them out. This particular one, uh, they have a retention pond and it's filled up with silt over the years and uh, we're going to clean that out and uh, there's a section right now that is holding a lot of water. Luckily, it is uphill from the drain area. So we're gonna cut a relief trench in there, allow that to drain, and possibly go back at another point in the future and uh, grade the whole thing. To do that, uh, I have to put on my second set of cutting teeth, which has stayed in my toolbox in the truck for probably a year. I bought an extra set because you never know when you're gonna need it. I have the other set on the power bucket with the grapple. And I don't want to necessarily pull them off one bucket, put them on another one, so I always have a second set lying around. Finally today, we get to put them on. These are about a quarter inch too long. The factory size is pretty odd. I'll see where we're at. I'd rather not have to cut these down a quarter inch. I think these will be all right. As you can see, I already have the holes pre-drilled. I put the cutting teeth in here once in a while, but again, you know, it becomes sort of a pain to take them off one bucket and put them on the other one. So it's just nice to have a second set. Should grab my hammer. Rubber mallet will do. <laughs> you see all the dirt in there. <laughs> it's funny, you know these are going to get beat up. But you want to take good care of them. stick up a little bit I really don't see it being a problem if it does we'll have to cut them off chamfer the end and we'll try this for now got this done set up and ready to go so uh, we'll load up we'll head out and we'll do some great work for a wonderful organization for kids
Now you can see this is pretty deep, probably a good six inches in here. And uh, by using the three point and the bucket, we could reach in here far enough <laughs> that we could dig a little channel. I was going to use the trencher today, but uh, quickly realized that would have created a lot more work for us as I can guarantee you we would have had to use a truck and a cable <laughs> to winch us out of here. But this is working nice right now. We'll give this a little bit of time and see how low this gets. Yeah, there's it's flowing and it's kind of disappearing right here. But yeah, this is the way it's supposed to go. But there's just so much crap in here. Yeah, just be careful. Yeah, this is bad. This is all filled up. Well, we've done as much as we can today. We went back probably 25 feet back further than I thought we could do today. The level in some of these areas of water was very deep and we just cut a relief channel down to the area that we actually regraded down by the uh, drainage grade itself. So that's it. We're going to see how much water this actually drains and uh, we'll have an opportunity to come back in the fall and finish up the grading once everything dries up.